Now we are starting the deck. Yay. Okay, got it. I'm not recording. Sorry, hold on. What? And now I'm recording. <laughs> Okay, so it's gonna be the height of the arbor of the waterproof roof is the height of the door, basically. Yeah. I'm gonna curve it a little bit because I think it looks cool, kind of like Flintstones. Mm -hmm. And the curve is gonna be, I'm gonna mill it out of wood from our forest. I'm gonna do right now today the supports vertical on the edges and then the supports that are deck level down the center. So it's very supported, so it's very strong. So it's gonna come out, it's 12 feet of mudroom. It's gonna go here. Do you wanna go that or 14? I think that's funny. So then picture you're walking up to it and that's how wide it's gonna be. Mm -hmm. So picture that and do you want it wider? No, I think that's funny. I think 12 by eight is perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So that's when you go up here and you're picturing these two posts, seats on one side, maybe sink or something on that side yeah. and you just walk up the stairs and you're in. Three stairs, maybe. Good morning guys, or good afternoon. It's actually the afternoon right now. Now that the loft is done, which it turned out so awesome, and there's still little details here you and like there it. that we have to do. Yeah, I love it, I think it's great. You had some trolls say it's gonna blow over in a week, and then one troll in particular said it's going to blow over and take the yurt with it. <laughs> no, it's pretty sturdy. We had two kids like jumping on it yesterday, so it's not moving at all. We had, um, it's almost Labor Day weekend, so a lot of people um, come to this area for the summer amazing weather mm -hmm. and we invited some of the locals we had our first acreages. year party <laughs> and everybody that had befriended us and helped us along the way and most of them came how many people did we have in the yurt at one time yesterday we had over 20 people yeah so at one it's time. sturdy now we are starting the deck yay we're gonna so. cement the post for the deck today so let's do it With pears in case we're hungry And feet that know the path Questions we've rehearsed and never asked The leaves are wet and chiny The sound I'll remember now Water rushing past us underground And all the lights stay open and all their cars are stopped. I'm back, back, back. You gotta see that block, yeah, there you go. All right, right here. One, two, three, let go. Ready to show Sugi Bung this? Now we'll like use this log and the rocks we put in here to, to brace it. So the new YouTube craze is going to be no more mukbangs, it's going to be shosuki bangs. <laughs> Where cool people just burn and preserve wood together. Okay, I'll go cut the, uh, the next one.
I'm gonna say Nicole is doing a very good clean job with her hole. In in comparison. Just saying. Thanks. Come on. on camera too. <laughs> oh. I guess you can quote me on. Teamwork from the dream team. Ready? Yeah. Come up here. This is really important, it's starting to set. It's progress. I'm not recording. Sorry, hold on. Do that again. Aww. What? And now I'm recording. <laughs> okay, two done. <laughs> he didn't do anything this time. <laughs> That's what I get for not hitting record earlier. Go ahead. Are we doing it again? Yeah. Take oh, three. take three. All right, <laughs> awesome. We got What's two my done. <laughs> awesome. We got two done. Yes. Hey guys, welcome back to another. So in today's mail time, we have some really cool things that we got that are gonna make our life so much better and nicer and easier. First of all, I'm always humbled whenever we get mail from you guys. Our PO box is down below, and especially people that send us things, survival things that have helped us along this journey. Very much indebted to you, and all the support is amazing. So thank you for supporting our mail time. So this mail time is mobile. So let's go check out the first thing that we got that we are super jacked about and that we've been using for a while and we absolutely love. Good choice of language there. Super jacked about this next thing. Super jacked. From Jackery. <laughs> okay, so first up on mail time today is a product I'm really excited about that I wanted to share with you guys. When Nicole and I first moved out here, we tried to think forward as to what we were gonna do for electricity to power our tools, to power our computers, to power our cameras because we're making these videos for you guys. It takes a lot of tech equipment and one of the solutions was to get some solar panels and a 12 volt car battery. And then we went to Harbor Freight and got a little inverter that clips on that car battery that has plug outlets on it. We've been using the car battery and the solar panels to charge it up. And then we started figuring out that there's a lot of really cool electricity products out there for off-gridders, for preppers, for hikers, campers, people that like the outdoors but don't have you know, a power pole nearby. And uh, this is the coolest one so far. I've been using this literally every day to charge up my computer, camera batteries, phone, and everything tech. So these videos are kind of brought to you by this solar panel. It's a 100 watt solar panel and its output is 100 watts, 18 volts. And the coolest thing about it is that you just go like this and it opens up into a solar panel like that. It's a flexible solar panel so it has a lot of benefits, a lot of pros, and one con that I'll tell you about. But let's go uh, Put it in the sun and I'll show you guys how we power up a battery with it. Okay, this solar panel is so mobile and it's so light. I've been moving it throughout the day into the sunniest spots of Blackfish Hollow here. So again, the company is Jackery. If you guys are interested, order from them. I've been really satisfied with these batteries in this solar panel. Let me show you guys the backside. If we open it up, you'll see on the back there's these little guys. This is a really well thought out design. Look at this. These open. And then you're able to prop it up on these little stands at an angle so it faces the sun. 
So it's pretty sweet. Okay, so I open it up and I put the little legs out and now it's holding itself up. And then I have this battery, which is also from Jackery. It's all part of their website. You can get their links down below. And this one is the portable power station, 500 watt battery. And I love this because check it out. It's got a plug here for so your computer you and your camera Jackery, batteries, things you can plug things in. You just have to push this button and activate and it first. The, the 500 watt one turns that fan energy. on to keep itself cool while the so plug the is activated we've kept our lives and it turns off. You also got three ports for USB. The fan doesn't turn on with the USB. And then it has a DC, so we use this a lot because it came with a plug that plugs into our car's cigarette lighter and allows us to put a plug in the cigarette lighter in the car and then plug in right here. We got our next project in the Spirit Bear van here, so don't mind our mess, but I got the cigarette lighter. It's in the back of the van here. It goes right inside this plug. And now we can use the engine, which is going to be on anyways when we drive around. And we plug it in. And now we're charging up the battery with the car. We got about 50 watts, 40 to 50 watts of energy going into the battery, and as we rev the engine, it's actually more. All right, I go into this uh, pocket here, and I pull out the cord. And what's really cool too is that, you guys know Matt has been joining us out here, and he's in the boathouse. And uh, in this pocket, there's three plugs. One is for this little adapter. It goes here in the center. And then next to that little plug, there's two USB ports, so we can plug two phones, or a GoPro, or an Osmo Pocket or something into these USB plugs while it's taking energy from the sun. And today, Matt charged his entire phone up like 80% in two hours. It was really fast. And then this guy now is plugged into the solar panel. And then we plug it right into the input. It turns blue, that means it's ready to go. And then it gives you a lot of different information on the screen. So if you guys come in nice and tight, I'll show you what it tells you. Okay, right here, it's telling me how many watts the battery is receiving from the sun and it's receiving 64 watts right now and I'll notice that if a little bit of a cloud comes into play it'll drop into the 20s but right now we're getting really full sunny day today 64 watts this morning I had it to 70 watts but I've never had it charged at higher than 70 watts yet and I just had this thing charged 100% this will charge my computer many, 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 many times. I would say possibly half a dozen times. And if I'm editing, which sucks battery life, it keeps me at 100% on my computer all day. It probably charges my phone dozens and dozens and dozens of times. We're even using this to charge our DeWalt power tool batteries and our Canon camera batteries and all that jazz. I got one of my uh, tool batteries that's only at a third charge. So I'll plug this in at the same time that the battery is plugged into the panel. Red light flashing means I'm getting a charge. And then I use the solar panels as like a shade so that my electronics are not sitting in the sun. I kind of use it like a tent and it works really well. It keeps everything cool to the touch down here. This is one of my uh, main tools. I got this cool flashlight that has a uh, side light. It's got really powerful flashlight for the forest and uh, it needs to be charged up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna charge this up directly from the sun into one of these cool USB ports here on the side. So this is bypassing the battery, and before the battery gets the power, it's gonna go into this flashlight from the solar panel directly, and it's charging up. And this is also gonna be in the shade of the solar panel. And then we have one of our main tools that we use for filming those cool B-roll shots and slow-mo shots, this Osmo Pocket that has the, the gimbal. So you guys like the footage we do. This is one of our really affordable key tools that allows us to be really mobile with the camera work. So I'm going to plug it into the Osmo and also put the Osmo into the USB port. And now I've got all these gadgets being charged by the solar panel and the Jackery 500 water and all in the shade because of the solar panel. Fantastic. At the end of the day, this will still be at 100% and Nicole and I will be happy at night editing these videos for you guys with the power from the sun. So a really priceless tool. Honestly, Nicole and I love this so much that we've been calling it the cool battery. We originally had one of these Jackery Explorer 240s, which is the cool battery. Now that we have the portable power station 500 watt, we call this the super cool battery. So we're always like, where's the cool battery? Where's super cool battery? Um, it's fantastic. I mean, this solar panel is so fantastic. At the end of the day, we fold it up, bring it inside. I do not leave this out in the rain and I do not get a lot of charge on a very cloudy day. So what I've noticed is that 
since this panel is flexible, clouds going across the sun and any trees going across casting shadows really impacts your efficiency with how much power you're getting into your battery. So this flexible solar panel does really well in the full sun, honestly. So if you're gonna go out in the boat, if you're gonna go into the car, if you have an RV, a truck, or if you're like us off the grid, um, the 100 watt panel here from Jackery and the 500 watt portable power station has been a big key into why we stay charged up before we have our four kilowatt hour permanent solar system set up, which is gonna start next week. <laughs> so corny. <laughs> so we're back inside. We just have a couple more things to show you. Next up, um, I'm gonna read you the letter. This was a birthday gift and then also a housewarming gift. Um, we've been using the heck out of it and I just wanted to read the letter because it's really sweet. It's from one of our patrons. So. We're finding that anybody who sends something to our mail time segment always includes a personal letter and that's a lot of the fun for us to read your thoughts. And Yes, it's really sweet. Hello, Jake and Nicole. First of all, thank you so much for sharing your journey. I personally really look forward to seeing new videos every couple of days or so. I was really struggling to think of a housewarming gift that you may need. In a recent video of you guys in the striker, I got the idea that because you are surrounded by such beauty, perhaps you guys need an extra pair of eyes. Anyway, this this is what I came up with. Enjoy. Kind regards, Bob. P.S. Happy birthday, Nicole, and happy anniversary. It's during our anniversary. They're a pair of binoculars, and we use them all the time. We absolutely love them, and he is right. We are surrounded by so much beauty. We see eagles all the time, and sea lions, and I mean so much. It's allowed us to connect with the nature of the flora and fauna around us because we get to see it up close and personal. Yes. So Especially thanks. Nicole. She uses the heck out of those binoculars yeah, so, while I'm driving. Yeah, it was a perfect gift, so thank you so much. This next one is also from a patron, and it, I love this gift so much. I think it's so sweet and very personable. It's really cute. We've hung it in the yurt, and uh, why don't you read off it for Yeah, so it says, Jake and Nicole's yurt rules. Wake up smiling, be grateful, live off the grid. Relax and unwind, watch the sunset, love, go for a nature walk, run and play games, enjoy one another, toast marshmallows, wish on a star, plant a garden, eat good food, take a nap, take a photo, take a breath, make memories, laugh. Life is good, love is better. And I love it. I think this is super thoughtful. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, I already found a spot for it and it's been yeah. hanging up and it's been awesome. So. Really thank you for these personal gifts, really amazing. Yes, thank you. Like, people are sending techie gifts, they're sending binocular type gifts, they're sending lights and solar stuff, and these really heartwarming, you know, Pinterest-y type gifts, so. Oh my God, yeah. get out of here. Love it. Next is one that we are gonna use coming up, but um, I'm kind of taken back by this. I didn't know I was gonna be getting this, so I'm in the middle of a few other projects. My mind is elsewhere, but I know I'm gonna be using this coming up. Um, and this is a, water heater that has some gaskets on it that are threaded so we can kind of drill into a tank or something and insert this guy, hook it up to a solar panel hopefully or a battery backup that's powered by a solar panel and use this to heat our water. It has a temperature gauge on top and whether it's a shower or a hot tub or whatever we're gonna do, I know, we can actually use it in our shower now. For sure. This was one of the items that this person sent us and it's really thoughtful. We're gonna show you guys upcoming how we are going to apply this in our off-grid life, especially tying it into um, heating water of some sort and a solar panel, but they sent something else as well. Yes, they sent us half solar lights. Just solar outdoor lights. Yes, and I love them so much. Um, our guest Matt loves them because he always leaves late at night when it's dark and so the pathway is lit up and it's just, it's really, really nice. It is super dark here. The last three nights it's been really clear and we, I've seen the Milky Way more defined than I've ever seen it before, but down below it's really hard to see after sunset. So these lights have not only um, allowed us to be safer and lit the path, but also emotionally, I think. It's yeah. very homey, but it also makes me feel like I'm walking down like a fairy path or something. They also wrote a really nice and beautiful card. Nicole's been pacing for hours because she loved the, the card and the words they sent with um, the lights and the water heater, but she couldn't find it for the mail time segment today. I misplaced it. We've been moving around <laughs> so much stuff that I just, I misplaced it. Thank you guys so much. Can't wait to show you all who watch and can't wait to receive more mail time from you guys. Um, I used to love when I used to watch Casey Neistat do this and um, it's fun to see how you guys are 
swinging the mail time segment toward off the grid type stuff. So thank you so much. Yes, thank you. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and we will see you guys next time. Don't miss the next episode of Jake and Cole living off grid. This is the lentil shaking dance.